Right, I'm going to do a very quick review of the uh, Harkila Pro Hunter range. Um, those of you who watch my channel regularly will know that I've had the Harkila Move jacket. And this is the Harkila Move. Um, I've had this for a fair while now. It's seen me through the autumn, it's seen me through the winter and most of spring. And it is a brilliant coat. Really good quality. Um totally rainproof and it really is i mean i tested it in my first review i did of this it was absolutely lashing it down nothing at all came through it and all autumn winter nothing i've been out in some atrocious weather with this walking the dogs down by the coast out in my spot and scope and all sorts um shooting ferreting long netting everything in this coat and it's brilliant completely waterproof completely windproof really really good but i saw the pro hunter x coat um was up for sale on a special offer um, before i go any further i should point out both of these the recommended retail price of the pro hunter move and the pro hunter x are the same but you will find that because the Pro Hunter X jacket's been out quite a while now, you can get these considerably cheaper. Uh, and I got 160 quid off the recommended retail price on this coat. Uh, whereas the uh, the Pro Hunter one, you're lucky if you can get 50 or 60 quid off really. They're still quite expensive because they're still fairly new out. Um, so I'll just run by the main differences between the two. They're both made of the same material. Well, we are from what I can gather anyway. Um, it's like a really heavy, tight woven, um, like canvas material. And it's really, really good. Gore-Tex mid layer. And one of the differences between the two is that on the Pro Hunter X, You've got this kind of like a brushed cottony type thing. It almost feels like a sort of felty type feel to it. You can see it there. It's like a felty feeling type thing. Whereas the Pro Hunter Move, it's like a, a mesh type lining. So that's one difference. The other difference is the colour. Pro Hunter Move is a darker green. Whereas Pro Hunter X, it's a lighter coloured green. Um, you can also get this in a brown colour. Um, Pro Hunter X has got much more pockets than the, uh, the Move, which was one of my initial slight criticisms of the Move jacket, was its lack of pockets. On the Pro Hunter X, you've got two um, zipped, hand warmer pockets that are really quite deep um, you've got quite a big interior pocket here you've got a small sort of foam pocket here not that that's much good in this day and age because most people have got smartphones which are too wide to fit in that but if you've got a more traditional type phone there you go it's got a little pocket for that and then this has got two really big cargo pockets with uh, that bellow out Three stud fastening and inside of there is um, cartridge, elasticated cartridge loops. Around the back it's got a really big game pocket that runs right around the back of the coat and it's got two pockets on the arms that contain the little red armbands um, for driven shooting on the continent and it's got the standard Harkeela radio pocket at the top now on the move you've only got two two side hand warmer pockets and the front pouch pocket and as i explained before the front pouch pocket is a bit of an odd one because it only opens on sort of one side the other side's stitched in so it makes getting into into it quite awkward sometimes and it's zippered uh it's quite a decent size but it's not massive um it's got the radio pocket again and it has got a tiny 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 
little inside pocket and it is really small. It's got no uh, game pocket in the move coat. The other difference between them, the hood on the move, the hood is fixed in place, you can't detach it. Um, it's got the standard Harkula adjustments um, at the back, draw cords that run around the side and it's got a peak on it. On the move there's a, a wire in the, uh, in the hood peak so you can get it to fit perfectly. On the Pro Hunter X it's virtually the same hood, only difference is it's not got the wired um, peak, it's got a peak but it's not wired and also you can detach the uh, Pro Hunter X hood with a zip, so there you go. Um, Pro Hunter X has got a uh, drawstring for the waist, drawstring for the hem and it's just a standard zip and press stud fastening on the front whereas on the move there's no press studs and it's a sort of side where side over to one side offset zip with a very large as you can see here a very large storm flap that runs down the center now because of that if you're overheating in the pro hunter x you can undo the zip and uh, undo a few press studs and let a bit of air in. On the move you can't do that because it's offset to the side. If you undo the zip this tends to flop open and you've still got this very large storm flap that sits on the inside. So to enable you to get some air into the move the move has got ventilated armpits. As you can see it's got zips that run underneath Whereas on the Pro Hunter X, it hasn't. It's just got the standard rag on sleeves. Uh, it's another slight difference. The wrists are adjustable with a standard strap and Velcro on the Pro Hunter X. Whereas on the Move, they've got a slightly better, I think, anyway, um, sort of rubberized plastic. Um, wrist adjuster that's just that little bit sits a little bit neater um, just looks a bit tighter I think than this where you get a little flap here on these and it can snag if you're netting on this it's much neater much tidier um, both coats phenomenal really are really good coats um, and I've had no complaints with this really. The only slight thing with this is it hasn't got many pockets, it really hasn't. And for some activities that can be a bit of a downer. Um, whereas this one has got loads of storage. The Pro Hunter X has got loads of storage on it. You know, you can carry everything in this thing. Um, them cargo pockets are really big, you can get plenty of uh, shotgun cartridges in there. Um, it's got loops inside the pockets as well for carrying ammo rounds, so it's really good. Round the back as well, this has also got the action back, I think they call it. Basically it's just sort of got a vent here. It doesn't actually vent through to the coat, but it gives you a bit of room for when you're swinging. If you're swinging a shotgun, it gives you a bit of room. Whereas on the... Uh, on the move that's absent it's just got a straightforward flat flat back to the coat so what would recommend well because they're both made of the same material and have both got that Gore-Tex lining as regards weatherproofing there's nothing in it because they're both exactly the same um, it's like a DWR treated canvas with a Gore-Tex a really good Gore-Tex uh, inner lining so between the two, if as regards weatherproofing, nothing in it. Both exactly the same. Um, you, you know, you couldn't pick. Uh, as regards durability, again, it's the same material. And this one here, been through thorns, brambles, brushed against barbed wire fences a few times with it. So far, nothing. It's not snagged. It's not torn. I've got no marks on it at all from doing that. 
and I'm expecting the same of this because it's exactly the same outer material. So at the end of the day, the choice is, do you want the sort of side fastening cagoule style, slightly shorter and more fitted jacket, or do you want the more traditional sort of Parker um, hunting coat, uh, which is more of a coat rather than a jacket of the Pro Hunter X. Now, for me, I found that this, the move makes a nicer stalking rifle if you're hunting with a rifle, because you don't need to carry as much clobber with you. You know, uh, I just put, I mean, I shoot air rifles, that's mainly. Um, so when I'm out with the air gun, I just shove a few pellets or a, a pellet carrier in my pocket with some magazines, hunting knife and a pair of small binoculars in the uh, in the pouch pocket at the front, and that's plenty. And because it's slightly tighter fitting, slightly shorter, I find that it doesn't tend to rustle around as much. Neither of them rustle, the fabric is quite quiet. But because there's less of it, it is a quieter item and it's a bit more fitting. Uh, the fact that it hasn't got a detachable hood isn't really a, a problem if you're shooting with a rifle, you know, because you're going to be, you know, it makes no difference really at all because you're not swinging a rifle around. You know, it's more of a case of careful aiming. Um, so when it comes to um, stalking and shooting with my, with my air rifle, the move is the one that I'd pick. If I'm out with, if I was out with a shotgun, on the other hand, I'd probably go for this because you've got plenty of storage. You don't need to take a bag with you. Um, you can stuff a load of shotgun cartridges in the pockets along with a knife. Um, you can also unzip the hood. So if you're taking high birds or wild fowling, um, it's not going to get in the way. Um, you can put the hood in either in one of the pockets, they're so big, or shove it in the game pocket around the back. Perfect. Also, that action back just gives you that little bit more freedom of movement. Um, so for me, if I was mainly shotgunning, then I would use the uh, the Pro Hunter X. You've also got the um, reflective armbands, which are useful if you're beating or whatever, and you want to be visible. Um, or if you're on the continent shooting. Um, so if I was just looking for a coat, if you're mainly shotgun, if you're mainly out with shotgun, rough shooting, driven shooting, wildfowling, whatever, the Pro Hunter X probably makes a little bit more sense because you've got more storage on the coat. So you have to lug, you know, you don't have to take a bag or a rucksack or whatever with you. And because the hood comes off and it's got that action back, um, it makes swinging into the shot a lot easier. Whereas if you're a stalker, uh, whether full ball, centre fire or air rifles for that matter, then I think the move probably makes more sense because it's a bit more streamlined, a bit tighter fitting, uh, and you possibly don't need as much um, storage for ammunition because you're not going to be blazing away like you possibly will be with a shotgun. Um, for ferreting, really either of them, um, because with ferreting you tend to take a bag anyway. So it doesn't really matter about, um, you know, a lack of pockets on the move jacket. It makes some difference, really, because you, when you're ferreting, you've got bags and bags and nets and all sorts of bits and pieces, spades, locators and all the rest of it to look around. And you usually put them in a bag or a rucksack. So either of them, really, for ferreting. Um, likewise, out with the dogs, either of them, they both look. And the other thing with them as well is they both look really smart on um you know, you could wear either of those out. So if you're out walking your dog and you want to pop into, you know, you you're just walking your dog somewhere and you want to pop into a cafe or something, or you're out shooting and fancy taking a break, grab a quick bite to eat. Both of them are smart enough coats to enable you to go into a, a restaurant or a cafe without thinking that you're uh, looking like some sort of scruff bag that's just dropped in off the street. Um, so they're both quite smart looking coats. So like I say, if it was up to me, if, it, if I had to pick, if I was a shot rough shooter, driven shooting, wildfowler, I'd go for the Pro X. If I was a stalker, um, I'd probably go for the Move. Um, also, the slightly darker colour blends in a bit better than the slightly lighter colour on the, uh, the Pro X. But, having said that, um, whichever you pick, really... 
you're not going to go you're not going to complain both of them are great coats you know really durable really weatherproof and i mean they really are weatherproof now, this thing's been out in some atrocious weather and it just shrugs it off um unfortunately not i've got the trousers as well to go with both of these um and again the trousers virtually identical the only slight differences on the trousers for the move one they've got a zippered um leg po uh, thigh pockets um and they're in this dark green and they're lined with that mesh whereas the trousers that come for the pro hunter move have got bellows pockets on the thighs and are lined with that sort of brushed um tricot whatever it is um that they feel a bit warmer because of that lining than the move ones but having said that they're both really warm um i don't think they are any warmer they just when you initially put them on because it's quite a smooth sort of velvety felty feel against your skin it just makes you, th you think you're going to be warmer but they're both the same really they're both as warm as one another and again excellent waterproofing qualities excellent windproofing and really really tough and durable both sets of trousers have got snow locks they've both got um, attachment for braces um, and again you know you're not going to go wrong with them whichever you pick so there you go um possibly a factor that's going to be in it is a fact like i said you're unlikely to find the move suit at that much of a discount um because it's fairly new to the range um and they don't seem to be offering nowhere seems to offer particularly good discounts on the move suit whereas the pro x it's been out um quite a while um, and you will find some really good deals on the uh, the Pro Hunter X coat and trousers for that matter. So, you know, basically you pay your money, you take your choice. I was just fortunate that I managed to find the uh, Pro Hunter X at a really good, a really good price. Um, and because they do get such a, such a hammering with me, I thought I'm going to get the other one as well. Um, because I tend to wear the uh, wear them as well, just for, just for pottering around town and for going to work in when the weather's really bad as well. So there you go. As regards washing them, I haven't washed Pro Hunter X yet. So I've not had it long enough to get it really filthy. This one I've washed it about three or four times, and I don't use any detergent. I don't use any fabric conditioner or anything like that. I just put it in the washing machine on a a, a cool uh, twenty degrees eco wash, just with water. And it comes out great. Um, it looks like brand new. So happy days all round really. So there you go. Pro Hunter X jacket or coat. And the Pro Hunter Move jacket. Both excellent items. And you won't go wrong with either. Thanks for watching.